guys, in this video I want to show you a simple setup for recording uh, jazz guitar recordings and making videos and all that. So what I have here is my practice amp. I've got an SM57 mic and then um, you know, i got my looper pedal. So the mic I've got connected to this Personas Audio Box 96, which is just a really nice little interface doesn't even need to be plugged in except to your computer. So I've got it connected to my laptop here. I've got a, my camera, which is also connected into the laptop. Of course, you could use an uh, like an iPhone to record your video. So when I open the camera utility, this is a Canon, and Canon has this um, EOS utility, which allows you to monitor your um, your camera shooting like this, see? So I can see the video that I'm gonna do, kind of set myself up back here. So this works really good for recording yourself. And then I go into Logic and have my audio from the, uh, from the amp going right in here. Usually what I do is I add a little bit of EQ, usually add some gentle compression, ratio, set, you know, two, three, or four for kind of a natural uh, guitar sound. This is just a stock Logic compressor. I'll bring this threshold down until I start to see the needle bouncing, which means we're taking a little bit off the louder notes. And then I usually use a soft distortion on here. You know, like when you turn a stereo, one of those old tube stereos and turn them up, you get a little bit of that nice natural distortion and compression that's kind of what that does and then sometimes i'll add just a spec more reverb if it needs it so i did that here i wanted to show you guys how you can do this without uh, having an amp i've got my guitar it happens to be going through the looper but then it's right into the interface in logic i've got audio we've got it in the built-in output right here the input device is the audio box, USB 96, that one. And then on the output, I've got a wire going to this speaker so that we've got some sound. You can't do it with Bluetooth because there's uh, going to be too much of a delay. So when you're playing your guitar, uh, it'll be too much latency. It'll be weird. Whoops, finger out of the way. But right now I got my guitar here. And if I play, there's a speck of latency, but it feels somewhat natural, not too bad. I'm using this uh, virtual amp here that's in built into Logic. This is kind of like a Fender Twin type of sound. And uh, it sounds okay. So you could play like this, use either your phone or a camera to record, and then um, you don't even need an amp or anything. Works great. And the reason why you want to use a speaker rather than um, just doing it through earbuds or headphones is because for the movie it, it won't have any sound and then you'll it'll be harder to uh, sync the sound with your playing on the video. I start the recording on the video and then I go into Logic and start the recording on the audio and then I can play and match them up. So the way I do that is um, open iMovie, I'll bring in the uh, the actual movie, this guy right here, right? There's the movie. The sound down on the bottom here is the audio from Logic. And I match up the waveforms. So all these peaks and everything match. Then I can bring down the audio from the movie. I usually bring it down all the way or sometimes I leave it like 20, 30% if I want some of the room sound. And so I just wanted to show you guys this nice little setup. Um, this is my sort of um, on the go type of setup and it makes uh, Fairly good recordings. If you want to hear the recording I did with this setup, it's a girl from Ipanema Looper performance. All right. Thanks for watching and feel free to ask me any questions if you have any. I read every comment, so just put them in there and I will answer them. Thanks.